Right, moving on to topic number 10 in the platform game Unity tutorial series. So what we're going to do um, during this video is I'm going to add some coins to the platforms. The robot boy is going to be able to collect these coins and for every coin that he collects the score will increase by 10. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to add a coin into our assets. So, what we can do is we can use the coin from the Unit 16 Moodle page or any other coin will do as long as it's got a transparent background. So, you need to download your coin, so save the image as. And then once we've got the coin, we need to follow it's downloaded to. So my coin is in here somewhere. There we go, right at the bottom. So click on the coin, grab it from there, drag it into Unity, into the assets, into the images folder. So now if we go to the images folder, you've got your coin. So we need to find a place to place it now. So I'm going to place my coin on this platform, just above this platform here. So it's just a case of click on the coin in the assets, drag and drop it onto the scene window. And then we need to customize our coin. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the name. I'm going to call it Dogecoin. And I'm also going to shrink it down as well because at the minute it's far too big. So let's shrink it down by clicking on the white square. Oops, wrong way, the other way. So about like that and that'll be fine. Right, we need to make sure that it's um, it's it's high enough so the robot boy can catch it. So if we just play the game at this point, and let's just check, see if it's high enough. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's try it one more time. Yep, we just need to make sure that the robot boy can touch the coin. So that's okay. Right, we need to do some other things as well. Let's have a look. So um, the next thing we need is make sure the coin t is selected, the Doge coin. And we need to um, make it so it's a rigid body. So let's add rigid body 2D. And we don't want it to use gravity, so we're going to tick the is kinematic box. So that will stop it from falling. Another thing we need to do as well, in order for collision detection to work, is we need to add a collider. And in this case, because the coin's a circle, we're going to add a circle collider. So we've got that. So we've got the circle collider. What we need to do now is a similar thing to what we did with the saw, where we need to add a tag. So, if you go to the tag section of the inspector, click on add tag, click on the plus for a new tag, and let's just call our new tag coin. Go back to the Dogecoin, and then change the tag so it's the coin. So this is needed for the code, so it knows what we've actually collided with. It knows we've actually collided with a coin. Right, so that's the coin set up then. So let's go back to the code now. So back to the, the scripts folder in the assets. Double click on the health manager script. Okay, it looks as if I've already started the code here. So let me just show you what I did. So let's just comment that out for a minute. We'll remove that. Right, so let's start from where we were last time. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to comment out the code that we use for testing the score. So let's just comment that out with two slashes. Okay, the next thing we need is we need an if statement in the collision detection part of our code. Because before, we were checking to see if we were colliding with a hazard and reducing the health. But this time, we want to check to see if the object we've collided with, to see if it's one of our coins. So, check to see if the, the tag is equal to the one that we just added, which is the coin. And if it is equal, then what we want to do is we want to take the score and make it equal whatever the score was previously plus 10. So that'll add 10 points to the score. We also need to make sure that we copy that value to our score in the canvas, which in this case is score text, and we want the word score, semicolon, space, plus whatever value is in the score. So that'll do that for you. The last thing we need to do, because the character's collected a coin, we need to remove that coin from the game. 
So, in order to re remove an object, it's just a case of destroy. And we need to tell it which object we want to destroy. So it's the object that the characters collided with. Finish it off with a semicolon. Finish it off with a bracket. It's auto formatted. Let's just move that down. Make sure you save it. Go back to Unity. And now, if we play the game, hopefully it will work. Let's have a look. So jump over there, get the coin, the coin disappears, and we've got a score of 10 now, which is great. So all we need to do now to add other coins to the game is just take what we've got and duplicate it. So that will add another coin on top of our original Dogecoin. So we'll move that across. So now we've got two coins. Let's move it across a bit further. Now if you play the game, you can grab the first coin, get 10 points, grab this next coin, get 10 points. And now you can add as many co coins as you want. So just keep duplicating the coin. Let's duplicate it a few times. Zoom out a bit. Let's add a coin there. Move it up a bit. Um, another coin. That should be another coin on top. Yeah, so let's, let's make a trail of coins. Oops, that's the original one. How many coins have we got? We've got one, two, three, four. Okay, so there we go. So we've got the coins. Let's just change it round a little bit. I don't like the way that looks. So we'll move that one along a bit. Let's have that one a bit harder to reach. Uh, this one we'll put right at the very end in the gap. So let's put that one there so you can get that as you travel. Okay, so let's give the game a go now. So first coin, pretty easy to get. Second coin, pretty straightforward. This coin, we can only get if we jump this way. And then the last coin, we need to grab as we go across. Whoops, I fell down, but never mind. Okay, so that's it. So that's collecting coins. That's adding um, points to the score every time you collect a coin. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add your help button, which is going to lead you to the instruction screen. And then after that, get everything we've got create a brand new level. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.